Good news and bad news today. The good news is I have top of line, state of the art audio equipment being delivered, so you don't have to worry about volume problems anymore with my videos. The bad news is I'm about to rip your traps up like they've never been ripped up before. Hang on, this one's going to be good. As part of your enlightenment, most of the exercise I'm showing you today not only have two bands working with the bar, but they'll have three. One additional angle of pull, one additional pain in the ass to have to deal with, with pain factor. Pain's good, right? That's why we're here. Now, if you're that guy that's waiting at home for your muscle and fitness magazine to show up so it'll teach you how to do barbell shrugs, don't worry, I got something in here for you too. Every one of these exercises can be done with the bands or without the bands, but there are gonna be some new angles for you, some new twists on some old stuff. Most of these exercises are based off of an old standard. They're called snapbacks or a face pull. And for those of you that don't know what that is or are new to the gym world, you'll see a guy running around with these and he's gonna brace his feet, raise the cable up as high as he can, grab those ropes, lean back as far as he can and try to pull that weight up to his face okay that's why they call it face pulls because that's right where they're pulling to or snap backs because you're snapping those arms back problem with that is you're going to get to a point that unless you weigh 350 pounds you're going to be using so much weight most of your body's energy and mechanics are, are being wasted by you trying not to fly back into the cables when you extend your arms back out i'm going to show you a safe and effective way to do that by lying on a bench Now the first time around, we used handles like this. Very easy and common to find in any gym. This time, you're gonna get a little revenge for that guy that sat on the leg press machine and checked his Facebook while you were waiting to get in on a set. Okay, what I want you to do, remember these ropes we pointed out? I want you to go grab both sets of them, set them up to where they're like this, clip them to that pulley, watch the video, and you'll see what I want you to do with those. Now, I'm gonna have you working two sets of each of these two different angles, so that guy that's waiting because you've got both of the sets of ropes and he's really pissed off, it's gonna be a little more pissed off. The first time you do it, I want your head to either be directly underneath the pulley or your feet underneath the pulley. That way you're pulling at an angle towards the face and one direction you're pulling, the next direction you're pulling straight towards your face. You get two different angles, it works two different areas of the traps. Just tell him to calm down and go check his Instagram. Right now we're going to check to see just how well you've been paying attention. Have you noticed that each one of these exercises involve shoulders forward, shoulders back, and then pull? Okay, so you're retracting those shoulder blades on the way back before you pull. You're pulling into the traps, so you're pulling towards your shoulder, not towards your stomach. That would be more like a lying seated row, which coincidentally we have that at our agenda as well. That's coming a little later for the next back exercise video. But for the traps, I want you to pull in line with the traps so you can work both the thickness and the angle up here through them. That's why I've got you working two angles on that. So the guy that's been impatiently waiting for you because you've got both sets of ropes, he may have mommy issues. So make sure that you give one of the sets of ropes back to him. Hang on to one of them because we're going to be using just the one set next. In the first set of those that we did, those face pulls, I wanted you to have a really wide spread when you pulled back. I wanted you to clear each ear with those handles before you bring them back up. 
On this one, it's gonna be a little tighter set. I'm not gonna have you spread them quite as far, just kind of pull to the eyeballs maybe, and that's why you're only gonna use this one set right here. Make sure you're leading with your elbows, make sure that your shoulder blades are firmly planted, and make sure that you're bringing your elbows back as far as you can go and stretch it back out slowly. Now a lot of that may look similar to what you've seen with the sanding snapbacks. This one's going to be completely different. I'm known around Kansas City, I put some beautiful backs on some young ladies with the backless dresses. Most of them were fitness competitors or competitive bodybuilders, but they have a very broad, wide shoulders and, and back, very tapered, narrow little waist on them when they compete or when they're out on the town even. That converts over to guys as well. This angle is going to use an extremely wide bar with a parallel grip. You're going to do the same exact exercise, but man, do you feel this one when it's done. This is a specialty. A lot of gyms don't have a bar this wide, but they will have something similar. Make sure you grab it. Take a couple sets with it. I have a tip for you that we're going to add in here. Anytime you work your traps, a lot of people will put their head back. What that does is that flexes the traps already and it makes it very difficult to pull down to your face. And you'll notice in all these videos, my head is forward. It gives me maximum range of motion to bring those elbows back. We interrupt this training session for a local public service announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're at the gym and you re-rack your weights, there is a lip on this weight right here for a reason. It's so that you can grab the weight off of the rack or off of the bar and have a handle that you can grab with four fingers on each side. Okay, four fingers on each side. A lot of you guys are putting the weights around the wrong way to where when you go to grab it, all you've got supporting all that weight are your thumbs. That's a good way to drop it on your feet. Please be courteous when you re-rack -re your weights. Boy, that's a tough word for me to say. When you re-rack your weights, make sure that you make it to where the next person in line that goes to grab it can grab it with all of their fingers like this. Thank you for your time. So if you've done these exercises properly, your traps have just had their ass kicked. Now it's time to do the barbell shrugs. When you're exhausted, your traps are begging for mercy. You don't have to use three plates on each side. Grab one plate, throw it on each side, First one we're gonna do is a wide grip, and then as soon as we get done with our wide grips, we're gonna go over to the bands, and we're gonna do some band shrugs. So for your first set of shrugs, you're gonna do the wide barbell, you're going to superset them with a band wide spread type of a shrug. On your second set around, you're gonna do a regular grip with your hands right by your hips. Every time you do these barbell shrugs, by the way, and any other shrug, you're gonna pull up, and then you're gonna pull up again, okay? So you're gonna think you've pulled up as far as you can. I want you to hold it right there, and I want you to give it another half an inch. Just like somebody's asking you a really difficult algebra question, and you go, I don't know. That's a shrug right there, that's all you gotta do, okay? The second set around is gonna be with that narrower grip by the hips. It's gonna be supersetted and shown right with that or big old fat orange band again, but you're gonna have a lot tighter, narrower, range of motion on that shrug, not quite so wide with the elbows.
If you've seen my back training video, you know what we're going to finish with. Anytime we work the back, the chest, the shoulders, or the traps, I want you to grab one of the smaller bands from your club or get one out of your bag. The first one's going to be the band pull apart, palms up, over the head, down to the shoulders, back up this direction. That's your band pull apart. Then you're going to take that knuckles up, so you're going to switch your grip, and you're going to bring that band behind your head all the way down to your low back. You're going to swing it right back up over your head again. time to hit the showers but before you go I want you to do one thing for me when I won my show my coach pulled me aside and he said we're not done yet and I said I'm not a big guy we can't go pro and he said no 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 you just want to show it's your job now to give back that's what I'm doing here is giving back I never thought I'd be able to do it coast to coast and hopefully someday worldwide but I have followers now in Camp Pendleton. I have followers now in Florida. So things are rolling really, really well. I want it to continue. The only way I can do it is by you hitting that like button, that subscribe button. And me being an old guy, I forget to tell you, there's a little, little bell right over there next to the subscribe. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified when the next training video, cooking video, meal prep, we're gonna go through all of it on this channel, okay? So I wanna make sure that you do that. Down in the comments section, if you have any comments or critique, keep them to yourself. But if you have some suggestions on things that we can work on, things that you personally need help with, chances are there's gonna be other people out there that need that help too. Please list them in that section. That's what it's there for, as far as I'm concerned, is for you to give me ideas on what you want me to cover next. Okay? As always, remember, there is no such thing as staying the same. You're either striving to make yourself better or allowing yourself to get worse. This is your unconventional trainer. My ass is out of here.